Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi, kids doing asshole consulting. Hi, Aaron. <clears throat> I'm a 39-year-old Asian male living in Vancouver, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I moved to Canada 10 years ago from a place. It, it's already very specific. I don't want to let you know, let people know. I grew up in, in North China until I was 20. I need your advice on a relationship. I am, as I was, traumatized by my previous relationship with a Korean woman who might have bipolar disorder. No, no, no. We don't do that here. Whether, let's start, I'm gonna give you a free lesson. Free lesson for all the guys. Gather around young boys and girls, but you never listen anyway. Gather around boys. It doesn't matter if she has a mental illness or doesn't have a mental illness. If they act like a bunch of cunts, it's not acceptable. It doesn't matter, you know, the girls try to stab you with an eye. Oh, well, she has bipolar disorder. Oh, well, it's forgiven. No, no, no. She got bipolar disorder and it's even worse if they don't have it and then they claim they have it to get attention or excuse unacceptable behavior. It, it does. It, she was mental. She was crazy, period. Right? You don't you don't deal with them. And unfortunately, every guy does because when, it's amazing how quick the bipolar disorder and the ADHD all disappears. The, the drama. And I haven't tolerated a temper tantrum from a woman in over 20 years. You want to know why? Because that shit ends after the first time. You're like, fuck that. And then girls realize they're not going to get the attention no matter how good looking they are. One, one was a Vikings cheerleader many years ago when Cappy was good looking and charming. And now I'm, I'm not. Um... They, they they can they can get away with it because guys let them until they run into the one guy like, oh, no, fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of my fucking car. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. And then they, oh, I can't, I can't get away with that. So uh, anyway, uh, I have no kids. Thank God. Good. Good. Because you, you could have totally destroyed your life if you did. My net assets is about 300000 I could have much more, but I had a bad investment and bad relationship that took most of my money. You don't, you don't give the bitches money, guys. Jeez. Oh, God. Uh, no, Dad, I'm making about 120000 a year in management. Useless degree, I know. How is that worthless if you're making 120000 a year? <laughs> it's, for you, it's not worthless. You did good with it. Even I did good with a finance degree. I rarely work in finance anymore, but I did all right. Not sure if this is relevant. I am single for four years now, but still scared to start a new relationship due to the previous terrifying experience. Yes, I don't blame you. And, and here's the other thing. Korea, now there are some snooty girls in Seoul and South Korea. Um, you know, that's still, Asian culture is still considered relatively traditional. And you are fishing in a pond. Now, some people are going to email or comment down below. Oh, dude, Claire, you don't understand South Korean women. They're all crazy. They're totally westernized. They're super. Maybe that's true. But in general, in general, Asian culture is more traditional. Uh, the women are more traditional. They're nicer. Uh, so I'm going to assume that you got really unlucky fishing in the Korean waters. And now you're in western waters. You're in Canada, which is essentially uh, the United States on easy mode. Uh, and I can only imagine in a liberal shithole like Vancouver, the level of psycho. I mean, you are fishing in dangerous waters now. So your fear and concern is very legitimate. I'm, I'm not saying, oh, it's just one bad. No, I understand that. That is evolution, survival of the fittest, telling you, hey, 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 learn from your mistakes. So I understand your concerns. Uh, but still scared to start a new relationship due to previous terrifying experience. I dated many women using an online app, but to no avail. I'm recent. I, I have your English is a little off. I am recently seeing this 28-year-old woman. She is good-looking, not hot, slightly overweight. She's working at a place at a. She's working at a not exciting career or anything like that. And you did send pictures. She is a touch overweight, a touch. Um, then again, maybe I'm used to seeing fat American land slobs walking around here. That's my impersonation of their mating call. Um, so maybe in Canada, they're a little thinner, but she, she is a touch overweight. She's still a very good looking gal. 
Um, she's been working this low rank job since she was in high school, so for 10 years. She's getting an MBA, oh no, online right now. She told me she's still trying to figure out what she wants to do in the future. She has no debt, happy family. She has two, uh, well, no, no, hang on, no, 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 they're not going to get you in trouble. She comes from a good, stable nuclear family. Let's say that. Let's not mention the sisters. You know, a whole shitload of trouble. She is very talkative and always takes the initiative to text me and send her photos. We went out many times. I feel like she is very comfortable be, to be with, super easy going. There was a one time she asked me to go to an event with her. The event cost $80 per person. I bought two tickets for me. She offered to buy it for us, but I told her I'll buy. Later on, I realized I could not go and asked her to go with her sister, and she went to the event with her sister and sent me back $160. That, that, dude, that's awesome. That's a, uh, she, and, and you can see it. I wonder, was the dad around with the Korean girl? What I remember now, not Korean, I did date a Taiwanese princess. Uh, and even though I'm against communism, my God, I was thinking, maybe we should nuke Formosa. <laughs> so something like that never comes from that island again. And the, they were married. That was a nuclear family. But my God, the dragon lady owned that man's balls. Uh, her father, he was ballless. You just saw him. He's just happy to see another man. Um, and I remember the, the lady, like, <laughs> just, just bitch of an Asian woman. Me American, I'll fuck you, white boy. She like, oh, she was pissed that her daughter was dating a white guy. That I wasn't, oh my God, she was pissed. So I had, I had the, another gutless, cutless story. I had the 85 gutless, cutless Supreme, and I pulled up, muffler missing, wah, 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 parked it on it. Then I was, I was asked to park the car down the road, so they were ashamed that there was this piece of shit car at their uh, North Oaks, private gated community. I had to talk to guard security. Yeah, I got a pass. Come in. Park your car. Me don't like him. You got to play shit car parked down there. <laughs> what wrong with him? He Irish. I don't like no Irishman. Oh, God. What a pissed off angry woman. Anyway, um, it, it is possible that you could still have a father around, but if the father is not being a father, he is not being manly and masculine, you can get a Korean princess maybe in your case. But uh, it seems like this this uh, woman that you're currently courting uh, comes from a stable, the father is present, the father is participatory, he loves his daughter, he's allowed to be a man because that behavior is very honorable and is what a man would say, hey, you didn't use... Uh, he." he he didn't get to use those tickets, so you ought to reimburse them. And she did. She may probably didn't even ask her dad. It was probably just instilled in her. So that's indication to me she has good morals, good principles, good ethics, is fair and selfless, and you don't have to prompt her for it. This is just who she is. That's a very good sign. She also pays for dessert, and I feel appreciated if I and feels appreciated if I pay for dinner. I feel she is into me a lot and pretty pretty reasonable when it comes to money and expectation. I have never done anything that romantic to her compared to my previous relationship. Yeah, that's a sad thing. Like, we, we really waste our charms and our best bullets on the first ones we date because they're like, yeah, this is what we're supposed to do. And then when you realize just what grade A bitches, they're like, you know what? Fuck you. Nope, you're going to earn it. And then the girls kind of come all around and they're like, well, you'll do. Hey, here's some flowers from the gas station. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I took a girl to a formal event. I put on a tuxedo. Yeah, no, you get you get flowers from the gas station. <laughs> oh. I imagine if you girls were brought, brought up right. Um, more importantly, she has a happy family, and she has a good relationship with her parents. Do you think this is someone hard to find, and is it worthwhile to pursue further if you or me? I am not super into her, but I think she has a good heart. If possible, I'd like to have a video response. Thank you so much. All right, we won't mention it. I said, all right. I had some questions. Well, does she know how much money that you make much money? Also, does she know you have 300000 in cash? Or that's a net worth. My mistake. It's not cash. You have a net worth of 300000 Also, do you have some normal pictures so I can see if you guys are physically compatible? Finally, how long have you guys been dating? Okay. Uh, thank you for the prompt reply. I've been listening to you for many years. Great stuff. She doesn't know my net worth and my income, but I guess she knows I make an okay living. Good. Smart. Keep it that way. We've been dating for three to four months. All right, that's not that's not a lot, but that's not a little either. 
We never had sex or act like boyfriend girlfriend though. We just keep dating and texting for three to four. Dude, what the fuck? Close the deal. She was much more motivated to tell. Oh God, now God, this is a whole lot of fucking problem. See now, what? Here's the problem. <laughs> what if she's some uber Christian nut job? And she's not going to have premarital disease. I understand your concerns of not wanting to move fast. Once bitten, twice shy. But, um... Oh, God, no. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. The reason she likes you is because you're not ha asking to have sex. She... It's not that you're friend zone, but... And it's not that you're the emotional tampon... This, oh God, if she's Christian or something like that, then she could just be like, oh good, I get to have a relationship without having to have sex. She could be a girl, a short version, she could be a girl that doesn't like sex, doesn't want to have sex, which is going to prove a problem for you. Now, that hasn't been an issue because you haven't been pursuing sex, but if you start dating her seriously and you'd like to have sex and also you find out, I don't know, I just don't, sex is not for, oh God, another Kaleri story with a foreigner. Dating a Russian ballerina. Yes, guys, I was that good. But, 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 watch one of my more popular videos called There's Always a Catch. No matter what, there's always a catch. Always. <laughs> and then uh, everything's going great. She's hot. She likes me. I like her. She's smart. She hates communists. She grew up under communism. She thinks I'm da 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 da. Everything's wonderful. We go for the boat ride and this and that. I'm driving around the convertible. I'm like, hey, life maybe has point and purpose. And no, no. Then when you get back to my place, oh, I don't like sex. Fuck. What do you mean? Dude? And it turned out she was a mail order bride. It's long. It just, it just, it almost makes you want to go find a nice slutty Christian girl. A nice slutty Christian girl there. That's what every guy wants. You're nice in this regard. And that's it. Uh, she was brought over as a mail order bride for some asshole military guy. Not military guys are assholes, but the guy was an asshole. And he just beat her and abused her. And then that turned her off from sex. Because when you're getting beaten and abused while having sex, it might fuck with your mind. And then I got, oh, oh, that's your catch. You're mentally scarred from having sex ever again. That's why you dress so hot and tempting. So I can't have sex with you. Fuck out of my house. Oh, anyway, I'm. There's a chance this is gonna happen where she doesn't want to have sex or she doesn't like sex. <clears throat> it, it, not part of your original request, but this is something you're gonna have to look to in the future. Uh, and she never gets emotional so far. She follows pretty much my ideas most of the time. Maybe she's just trying to be nice. I don't know. No, I think she likes you. Attach her photos. She's the one on the left. She's the one on the left. I thought you said... But then the picture says... She... Okay, all right. <clears throat> I don't have photos. You are 5'10". Uh, oh, and you, you're in good shape too, dude. I look, you're, you're, you're not an average Asian guy. You're a good-looking Asian guy because you're taller. Uh, I can see you chiseled. You have the physique. Uh, so don't discount yourself. I mean, no, no, no home or anything like that, but I'm looking for someone to form a family. I guess a mature way in relationship is a fine one like me more than I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, what are you, my age? You're 44? You're 39. I mean, the game's going to end for you pretty soon. The selection of women is shit out there, all right? And you got yourself a traditional girl. She has no debt. She knows who her dad is. I mean, it really doesn't get any better than this. Like in the olden days... Us men had a selection of the menu. Oh, she's intelligent and educated, and she has no debt, and her father raised her right, her dad's still around, and she likes sex, and she understands. That was it. Now the menu is, what does she not have? You know, is it gluten-free? Is it cholesterol-free? Is it, is it herpes-free? Is it child-free? Is it divorce-free? You know, and, and you can't even get that on the menu now. I mean, you got a girl, never been married, no kids, no debt, knows her dad, likes you, pretty good looking, it doesn't get any better. But I can't force you to fall in love. Nobody can force you. You either love her or you don't. Or in this case, like, you know, three to four months. Uh, but yeah, I mean, on paper, it doesn't get any better. But that doesn't mean you love the girl and you should go marry her. You gotta love the girl before you go marry her. 
Um, thanks, payment, da, da, da. Uh, let's take a look here. Is that her mom, the short little Asian gal there? Obviously, I guess. She's the one on the left. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. All right, that is the left. Oh, yeah, her sister's, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's cute enough. Yeah, you're a good-looking dude. Oh, there's you and your buddies, all you having fun. And there's you at a church. All right. Um, it's... With that, she could blow up. Although I'm going to say no, because her mom's thin, you know, look to the mom, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, I mean, you could get her out there hiking. You obviously have a workout regimen. You obviously are working out. Um, have her join you working out. Uh, I'm not going to mention this. She is a mixed race. That's her mom. No red flags. Okay, look. It doesn't get... This is pretty good raw material. This is very high quality raw material. <clears throat> you got to speed it up a little bit here. So not only you don't waste her time, but you don't waste your time. Three or four months, that's fine. I understand your concerns and fear dealt with the uh, Korean witch. Uh, but now, this one is not... Whoa, here's the, another thing. There's no way you're going to get hurt again like the Korean girl did you. It happens once to every guy, but then we learn quickly... And we're like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Get off. Get get the fuck out. I mean, I've left girls at restaurants before. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, excuse me. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Pay my tab. Yeah, she's going to cover the rest of her tab. And then I leave. <laughs> we know not to deal with it anymore. So you're not going to... this. Even if she turned out to be a grade A psycho bitch and the world's greatest actress fronting this for the past three to four months... Uh, you're not going to stick around and get hurt. You're never going to get hurt that bad ever again. Never. You won't let it happen. So I'm not, I would let your, not let your guard down, but I wouldn't worry about it that much. Um, and then also, she is very high quality material. I would say she is wife material, certainly long-term girlfriend material. If you're not going to have kids, I don't really see a reason to get married, but leave that up to you. But yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. You got the filet mignon with the martini and the tiramisu on the menu. It doesn't get better. That's a very high quality woman. I have concerns, but there's always a catch. Why is she getting her MBA? That's a waste of freaking time. She obviously has no uh, uh, hustle. I mean, she'll work. She'll put in the effort. She'll support herself. I'm very impressed she has no debt. But she's not like, oh, God, I got to work and I got to make this. and I, she's, she's floating. That's what people get MBAs do. They're floaters. They don't know where they're going. They have no aggression, which is maybe a good thing. Maybe she just wants to be a stay-at-home mom and you want to start a family. That's, I know this may shock you. That's what most women want deep down inside. I just uh, tell them otherwise because school and feminism and professors and career. Um. Yeah, so I don't see any red flags either, but what I would do, you got to do some soul searching because I can't answer this for you. Do you like the girl? Are you like, wow, I really like this girl. All right, good, you like her? Well, maybe give her a kiss for fuck's sake. Have some fucking sex. See if you like it. But if, if you find out after another month or two of dating, you don't like she's not the one, and, and you know, we've all been there before. There's this great girl on paper, but there just ain't no fucking chemistry. Uh, that's, that's, um some advanced, complicated, mental, brain, neuralistic, or neurological shit that none of us are going to stand. But it's true. You, if you can't get it up for her, you can't get up for her. If you don't love the girl, you don't love the girl. Maybe you guys just be good friends. Um, but I would say <clears throat> this is one worth seeing if you don't, you know, do some soul searching, see if you don't have feelings for her, give her a shot, go out and date. But man, maybe a reason you're not like, wow, this is the girl for me is because you haven't had fucking sex. And then she, yeah, she could probably go run a little bit. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. If you have problems dating and you can't afford my fees, well, just go date a bipolar girl and say, man, I would have paid $1,000. You go talk to our good pa uh, pal, Chad El uh, Elkins. You, you ask him what he would have paid to have followed my advice. I gave him free advice. I should never give free advice. No one listens to him. And I say, would you have paid $5,000? I was like, yes, I would have paid $5,000. I'm like, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah. Assholeconsulting.com. All right, we'll see you kids later. Toodles.